you doing? We're protecting myself from the sun. We're gonna get on the bikes and go to Kua, the capital of Lankavi. I learned my mistake from not putting sunscreen on when you get on the bike from uh, Thailand. And I burn badly. Because when you're on a bike, it seems like it's very breezy and nice. It's not too hot, but then you get off the bike and you're burned big time. So make sure you apply a lot of sunscreen and preferably something over 30, at least 30 SPF. Or even 120. We saw 121. That's my beautiful helmet. There you go. Always put a helmet on. Doesn't matter if you look pretty in it or not. It will keep you safe. You still look pretty. <laughs> okay, you ready? Yeah, ready to explore Kua. Hop on. <laughs> Here it is, our last day on Lankavi Island. After breakfast at the hotel, we jumped on our motorbike and went to explore a few more places on our list. Ready to roll? Almost. Let me pretty myself up. Our first stop is capital of Lankavi, Kua, and one of its main attractions, Datarang Lang, also known as Eagle Square. It took us about 30 minutes to get here from Sinang. The drive was very easy, there was no traffic and plenty of parking in the entrance to the square. No, no, no. I'm all ears. We're walking to the Eagle Square. It's a big deal here in Lankavi. It has a huge eagle that is built so it looks like the eagle is about to take off. The land underneath is shaped as a star. Where did you get this nice hat? In Miami! And there it is. It's 9 o'clock in the morning. Only a few people are at the square, which makes it so much more exciting for us. The eagle is a symbol of Lankavi, and the statue was built as an emblem of the island. It is placed on a huge star-shaped platform and provides beautiful views of Kua Bay. This 12 meter tall statue is one of the most recognizable places of the island and is a postcard perfect spot to take pictures. If you're arriving to Kua by ferry, this giant eagle spreading its wings will be one of the first to greet you as you approach the jetty. The square was a great place for a morning walk, but closer to midday it was getting way too hot for us. We stopped by a little gift shop to get a few souvenirs and heard up to close by mall to cool down and grab some refreshments. This time we decided to visit a not so local fast food joint, McDonald's. Okay, thank you. How come McDonald's in a hot ass country wouldn't have a, a cold coffee? Iced coffee. Anyway, look at how much dessert with red bean they have. It's my kind of thing. What should I get? Red bean sundae or red bean McFlurry? We stopped at McDonald's for a pit stop for iced coffee. Unfortunately, they don't have iced coffee here. But they do have a lot of different options for dessert with red bean. And I love red bean. So we're getting the red bean McFlurry and red bean sundae. So we're trying something new. Yeah, I'm in heaven. Mm -hmm. After getting a few cold treats, we continued our tour around the area. We ran into a Welcome to Lankavi Geopark sign and couldn't just pass it by and not to take a few pictures. Then we decided to check out Lankavi Legenda Park that is located only 5 minute walk away from the Eagle Square. It is a very quiet place, a beautifully landscaped park with waterfront that faces Kua Bay. The lush green garden full of colorful flowers, plants and trees make it a great place for a morning jog or evening walk. But in our case it was already a midday and the heat was completely wearing us out.
Originally, park was built to explain legend about Lankavi with various statues, but due to lack of maintenance, sculptures and signboards went rusty and became hard to read. And now it's mostly just a nice quiet park. We walked around a little more, made a few quick stops, took a few more photos and video shots, but since there was not much else to do at the park, we decided to go and spend the rest of the day at our favorite beach spot. Tanjungru Beach is located on the other side of the island, about 30 minute drive from Kua, and on our way there we made a quick stop at one of the world's famous luxury resorts. We passed by Four Seasons Resort many times on our way to the Tanjung Ru Beach and today we decided to stop by and see how it looks inside and maybe even treat ourselves to a nice lunch. We didn't have much planned to do at the Four Seasons. Mostly we were just curious to see the level of service and property itself. Did you see that? No, I think I'd like for you. I'll be back. I used to work at Four Seasons Toronto, so it's always interesting to see if the standard is being kept up all around the world at different properties. Let's take a look. Buggy to get to the restaurant. Not bad. Our destination is here. I feel like a VIP being escorted to the restaurant. Thank you. Okay, so once you're ready, just take from the staff, they will be for you. Perfect. See you, bye. <laughs> Let me tell you, Four Seasons Resort Lankavi did not disappoint. Look at this powdery white sand and perfect blue water. Looks just like a postcard. Absolutely stunning. Mm, sausage. After a quick lunch, we were escorted to walk around and check out the property. It was very quiet and peaceful, perhaps due to the time of the year. There were only about 10, maybe 15 other people enjoying themselves at the restaurant and by the pool. What a perfect setting for a secluded and tranquil vacation. You could clearly see the property is kept up to the standard. Everything is clean and well taken care of. This is my favorite spot. The beautiful villas overlooking the gardens and the ocean. I wish we had more time to ask for a tour of the rooms. But we were getting too anxious to catch up on our tent and jump into the refreshing water. This guy got some mad skills driving a buggy. <laughs> the roads are so narrow. I'm sending you to uh, our greeting pavilion. The property is very impressive. The resort has a land size of over 40,000 square meters. So golf carts seem like a convenient and very fun way to get around. Thank you so much. Okay. Wonderful. Thank you. So if you're going to love it, then Great. Thank you. Bye. Oh wow. The resort is decorated in a cozy rustic style and designed in a traditional Malay style with a blend of Asian and Arabic influences. It was opened in 2005 and when it comes to accommodation size, it's one of the smaller Four Seasons resorts with only 91 rooms. We had a great time walking around and enjoying the stunning views. The property is very impressive and grand, but most of all, it's the personable service that leaves the greatest impression. The people that work here, that's what would sell me on this place. They're so friendly and genuinely lovely, very attentive, just so caring and fantastic. Service is definitely top notch, five stars. And now it's time for the beach. Sadly, it is our last day on the beach on Lankavi Island. We spend the rest of the day just soaking in the sun and enjoying beautiful views of the sea. For our next short episode, we put together a little review of the beaches that we had a chance to experience during our stay here on Lankavi Island. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for our next episodes.